My guest bathroom is a room that has been neglected design-wise and is in need of a transformation. So today I'm taking on this boring builder grade bathroom. My name is Kiva Brett and I teach people how to craft beautiful spaces through smart shopping and DIY projects. To give this room a total update, I'm going to add some peelistic wallpaper, frame out the existing mirror, and DIY a really fun metal looking pedestal tray, and I got everything to do this project from Target. Let's start with the peelistic wallpaper. This Opal House wallpaper is so nice and bold and brings the colors black and cream that I already have throughout my home into the bathroom. I also got painter's tape, a squeegee, and some scissors. Step number one is to line up the wallpaper with your wall you want to add the wallpaper to. I'm choosing the wall with a mirror because it's already the focal point and I just want to enhance it. Once your positioning is correct, you want to use your painter's tape to adhere the peelistic wallpaper to the wall. Not with the stickiness of the wallpaper, just with that painter's tape. This ensures that you know exactly how much wallpaper you need and how it's gonna look up on the wall before you stick it down. Step number two is you're actually gonna peel back that backing and put it on your wall. If you're having a hard time smoothing out those bubbles, just use that squeegee I told you about. And as for squeegee, you wanna make sure that you're pulling the air bubbles to the size of the wallpaper. Otherwise, you're just kind of moving the air bubble to another part of the wallpaper. Step number three is to cut your wallpaper. And that is it. Isn't it incredible how big of an impact this wallpaper made? It really brightened up the room and added some character. Let's move on to project number two. Adding washi tape to a mirror is a super simple and easy DIY project that is also render friendly. Target actually sells this multi-pack of washi tape that comes with so many different colors and textures so you could find something that works for your design style. Step number one is to measure the length and width of your mirror. You don't need to use a tape measure to measure this out. You just wanna get a rough idea. Step number two, if you have a mirror with the frame, you wanna cover the existing frame with the washi tape. And if your mirror is frameless, you wanna push the washi tape as close to the edge of the mirror as possible and smooth it out just using your finger. Step number three, trim off the excess washi tape. I decided to actually double up on my tape and use a champagne gold and a vibrant gold so that I got a really great contrast of colors. I love that it just makes this mirror pop on this wall of peel and stick wallpaper. Now it's time for project number three, the decorative tray. The tray is so super easy because you just need to know how to use a hot glue gun. To do this, you're going to need some air dry clay, this round tray base of hot glue, and your favorite spray paint. I'm going with gold because it gives you a metallic effect even though we're working with wooden clay. Step one is to grab your air dry clay and shape it into balls. These are going to be the feet for your tray. So I'm going to have three feet on my tray. You can make as many as you would like. When the balls are dry, they should sound like this. That means it's time to spray paint. Make sure to spray paint in a well-ventilated area and to wear a mask. I like to actually use one of my old Target boxes to spray paint in to make sure that there is no overspray. Once this is dry and the balls are dry, you're going to want to flip the tray upside down. Just make sure to arrange your balls in a way that ensures that your tray will actually stay nice and level. Once you've done that, you want to add a few dollops of hot glue to the base of the tray and attach your legs. Now you have a nice metal looking, fun, funky DIY tray for some great storage and some tabletop decor. Today we took on my boring, bland bathroom and turned it into a beautiful space that finally feels cohesive with the rest of my home. We added a peel and stick wallpaper, we framed out the mirror using the washi tape, and we created a tray for our toiletries and decor. If you enjoyed these DIY projects and want to watch more how-to videos, subscribe to Target's YouTube channel. Plus, all the products that I talked about today are linked in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.